Hi boys and girls, today we're going to take a look at an issue of Scholastic News Online and we're going to look at how authors have organized their writing for their articles. This is the cover of the magazine. We're going to go ahead and open up to pages two and three. And I want you to notice the first thing that you see is the heading for the article. And the heading is big and bold. And I'm noticing that the writers have chosen something a little catchy for their heading. So smoggy city, I'm hearing that alliteration. One thing you can do when you're writing a heading is you can use alliteration or even try to challenge yourself and use a simile or a metaphor in your heading to catch the reader's attention. I'm noticing that there is a photograph along with a caption. There is even a map that's telling me where this is taking place. So I know, oh, this is a smoggy city in China, specifically Beijing. I'm also noticing that the author here gave me a word I need to know. There's a little breakout box that's teaching me a little bit about this word alleviate. If I don't know what alleviate means, then I can look at this definition and that will help me to better understand the article. The next article that we're going to take a look at is called A Super Celebration. And if you look on the next page, you see another heading with, again, alliteration, A Super Celebration. It's nice and catchy and it makes me want to read the article. There is a photograph at the top along with a caption. Again, the writer on this page gave me a word to know, so a little breakout box that's teaching me something new. I really like that this article has an infographic at the bottom. So it's telling me Super Bowl by the numbers. So adding a little bit of math in, I'm learning some things about the Super Bowl. For example, one out of every three people in the U.S. watched last year's Super Bowl. It was the most watched TV show in U.S. history. Just some fun facts, some neat information that the writer is tying in with the information included in the article. So boys and girls, what I want you to think about is how can I do this in the article that I'm writing? Take a look at your flash drafts. Could you add in a photograph to enhance your writing? and write a caption to go along with it. Could you add an infographic? Could you add some fun facts, some interesting information to teach the reader a little bit more about your topic? Could you add a breakout box with some additional information to help your reader better understand what you're writing? What I want you to do is take a look in your writer's notebook and look at the flash drafts that you have written so far. Jot on sticky notes or jot out to the side what type of text feature might make sense to add into your article. Bring that to class tomorrow and we'll take a look at what we can add to make our informational articles even better.